Hi Christmanship, today we will be looking at 1 Chronicles 29, 10-13. Therefore David blessed the Lord in the presence of all the assembly. And David said, Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heavens and in the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. Both riches and honor come from you, and you rule over all. In your hand are power and might, and in your hand it is to make great and to give strength to all. And now we thank you, our God, and praise your glorious name. Amen. David was a warrior and a worshiper. He also knew exactly what kingship and ruling his kingdom meant as a king himself. This prayer by David to the assembly in 1 Chronicle 29 was giving thanks to the offering to build the Lord's temple through his son Solomon and as a reflection of who God is, as he looks back at how the Lord was so glorious in this latter stage of his life. He worshiped the Lord with all his passion. He knew who is the ultimate king. He knew not only the Lord of Israel is head above all, but also to be revered and honored by everyone because He is all-powerful, glorious, and majestic, and rules all heaven and on earth. David worshiped the only powerful God. He blessed His name and honored Him greatly. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord. Who is your king, and how powerful is the kingdom that you choose to be part of? A king is always determined by how powerful is his kingdom. It goes hand in hand. You cannot be a king if you don't have someone to rule or people to protect, and you cannot have a kingdom or rules and people without a king. In a nutshell, there are only two distinctive kingdoms that we can choose to serve and worship. The kingdom of the world ruled by Satan and people being puppets of its rules, or kingdom of God ruled by King Jesus and people being children in his presence. Although David was not perfect and made a lot of mistakes, but as a shepherd, a warrior, a king, a husband, a father, and a worshiper who was a man after God's own heart, chose to be a child in the kingdom of God and understood the whole relationship with the living God declaring, Yours is the kingdom, O Lord. See, the journey of life is not easy, but when we choose who is our Lord and King in our lives and empowered of His inheritance as children in His powerful kingdom, to be established daily in our life, it seems we have hope and comfort to walk and rise again to finish the journey of life in victory. Hallelujah! Thank you, King Jesus. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord. Bless you. Thank you, Christ Mission friends. Hope you are blessed and activated by our weekly kingdom messages. Please do subscribe if you haven't and click like and the notification button and send some feedbacks to us and stay connected as kingdom family. If you want to know more about Jesus and his kingdom, please write to us through our Christmanship social media or email us on connect at Christmanship.com. Let's journey to become more like Jesus together. Stay tuned for next week's message and also our social media communications. Bless you.